Hi, this is Alex. Thanks for clicking and welcome to this lesson on when to use indefinite articles which are a or an or no article. And this is the symbol we will use meaning no article so you don't say a or an before the noun. Okay, this is a problem that is actually very common uh, for new speakers of English especially when it comes to writing um, and speaking. So this is a, a production problem. So I have a few sentences here, and I'm going to explain the rules to you about when you should use a, an, or no article whatsoever. Now keep in mind, this does not cover the word the. Uh, there are actually lessons on angbit.com that will help you with that as well, uh, and I recommend checking those out after seeing this lesson. Okay, so we have a sentence here. My family has dog, and an apple is red. First, let's look at this, the first sentence again. My family has dog. Okay, so the first thing we need to identify here is that dog, the noun dog, can you count dogs? Can you, is it a count noun or a non-count noun? Okay, if it is a count noun, meaning if you can say one dog, two dogs, three dogs, four dogs, then if it's in the singular form, so just one dog, but you can count more, but it's only one, you have to use an article, okay? So you can't say, my family has dog. You have to say, my family has a dog. Okay, and here, an apple is red. This is a general statement. You're making a generalization about a common noun. Here, the common noun is an apple. We can also say, a banana is yellow. Okay, so when you're making a generalization about a generic noun, or if you want to call it a common noun, then you would have to use an article as well. Okay, so the rule that we can put here is that you can use it for singular count nouns. and generalizations. So these are, generalizations just mean general statements. About common nouns. Okay, so Let's look at the second set of sentences here. So we have, I like to drink a water and I enjoy eating apples. Okay, so can you count water? Can you, if, you're, if you have like a bathtub full of water, for example, can you say there is one water, two waters, three waters? No, water is a non-count noun. You cannot count water, just like you cannot count electricity. Electricity is another example of a non-count noun. You can't say one electricity, two electricities. It's all electricity. Okay, so in this case, uh, we're looking at water, right? So I like to drink a uh, water. No, when you have a non-count noun, you do not use an article. You do not use a or an, the indefinite article. Okay, so you just say, I like to drink water, okay? And if you're looking at this statement here, I enjoy eating apples, you're not using any kind of article because it is, this is a count now. Remember, just like up here, we have an apple. Remember, you can have one apple, two apples, three apples. You can count apples, but when you're doing the plural form, so when you're, when you're talking about two apples, or four apples, or any number of apples, you do not use an article, okay? So you cannot say, I enjoy eating an apples, or a apples, I enjoy eating apples. So the rule here is, we use, again, we use no article, no article, Or, okay, sorry. 
about that. For non count nouns and plural count nouns. Okay, and use it for plural count nouns. So remember, we can count apples, right? So if you have more than one, you do not say a apples or an apples, it's just apples. Whereas if you're talking about one apple, you would say an apple, just like here, an apple is red. Okay, so if you'd like to check out how to use or when to use a, an, or no article and really test your knowledge, you can check out angvid.com and the quiz on the site. Uh, thank you for watching. I really hope this improves your writing as well as your speaking, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, one more quick reminder. So some of you might have been confused when I said a apple, an apple. You can actually only say an apple. So let me do a quick refresher for you as to when to use a and when to use an before a word that begins with either a consonant sound or a vowel sound. So here we have a clock. We cannot say an clock because the word clock itself begins with a consonant sound. So either a k, g, b, n, n, those kinds of sounds. Here we have an arm. We use an because this is a vowel sound. So for vowel sounds, words that begin with vowel sounds like a, e, e, o, u, we have to use an. Because if we say a arm, it sounds very, very awkward. It does not sound correct. So an arm, okay? A door, similar to a clock. The same thing as a clock, right? This is not a e, a, u, o kind of sound, but just a consonant sound. So we can't say an door, it's a door, okay? Here we have an ant, same with an arm. It would sound very, very silly to say a ant, right? So because this is a vowel sound, we have to use an. Now here we have an honest man. The reason it's not a, despite you might, you might look at this and say, wait, but h is a consonant, you know? It's with the b's and the k's and the m's and all the consonant letters. The letter is not important. It's the sound that the word makes. So, a honest man, again, it's that a, a, no, that does not go well together. It's an honest man, because we don't pronounce this honest. If you did say honest, then a honest man would be acceptable. But again, because the sound is a vowel sound, an honest man is correct. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you later. Take care.